One of our many specialities here in South Africa, spirit quartz from the Bukenau deposit uh, in the Mpumalanga province of South Africa. Now, typically we have a central quartz crystal, as you see here, when we go around like this, you'll actually see the original core crystal, and then there was a second generation of quartz, which formed almost a blanket around the original quartz crystal. Color is usually determined by what happens around the edges of the crystals. Now, I'm going to angle it in, have a look at the main crystal over there. Let's see if we can determine some color. It's a very, very mild amethyst which runs right through the specimen. The reddishness to brownishness would be some hematite, uh, come hematite in stages of oxidation, uh, uh, girthite or formerly known as limonite. Uh, included in the in the uh, quartzes. Now, what I found appealing about this guy, you have one crystal adjoining uh, into that, so it could be displayed like that. But I, I actually prefer this way around. So on a turntable, you'd have this effect. So the reason for my selection here is the the actual form. This this little crystal jutting into that. There we have. Let's just see if we can see color in that one. Um, you don't have an intense starburst on this particular spirit quartz. I have been photographing some from the top down, so you can actually see the starburst. Now, this one doesn't have a, a very intense starburst. It is a very, very mild amethyst. All the way from South Africa, spirit quartz. Lovely form. Look at that little crystal jutting out the side. So it's totally formed across there and runs across there.